and, and well in and it. Well in it. You know what? Kala can take me all sweat. this meat. Pick up. Huh. Yeah, take all that suspicious meat. <laughs> suspicious meat. I mean, yeah, there's prison key. Oh. Well. It might be person. It's okay. I'm just gonna have some suspicious meat. Why not? Uh, set a camp. Set a camp. Set a camp. Set a camp. We have so much food. Ooh, Beastmaster's chain. Animal of friend friendship. Pick up. Pick up. Pick up. Okay, I'm gonna leave it with Kalaf because she's our tank and she needs some serious. Oh, yeah. Serious healing. Okay. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Okay, we need to have a long rest because we need all of these spell slots to be able to deal with the leader, Raxlin. So let's save again because I do that way too much. Um, that is one hundred percent a person that is an arm and <laughs> yeah. That is an arm and a leg on the table. I know, but like it doesn't it doesn't say human meat, just suspicious meat, so I guess they don't really care. Go to camp. Does he care? No. He's not yelling at us. Oh, oh. thank you! Oh thank you! Mingo 33! 33J, welcome on in. Thank you so much for the follow. Okay, let's talk to Asarian because that's what we do. Hello. Always at your side. Yeah. Oh, always at your side. I'm gonna die. That's so sweet. It's always a pleasure to see you sauntering over. What do you think is waiting for us at Moonrise Towers? Who knows? Drow? Mind flayers? Death? Hopefully not ours. But maybe answers if we can convince the right people to talk true uh, okay the rest doesn't really seem to want to talk i'm not going to use that tadpole not yet not yet okay so light padded armor this one is rare light armor okay and he looks so very good in it Let's see, is he proficient in it? Because I do... What? There we go. He is proficient, he is proficient, he's not proficient in these boots. Boots of striding, okay. We have the boots of water speakers. He is proficient in those. Okay, with the electrifying water and the lightning charges. Okay, cool. Then Kalach can have, because I think that's so very sweet. The Beastmaster's chain. Hello. There we go. Beastmaster's chain because that's cute. Uh, I'm gonna give these to Shadowheart. This is Astarians. Should you use them, by the way? Set the camp. Ooh. Hello, Tav. What the hell? Tasteful boots. Um. I think, uh, yeah, that's our outfit now because, because, because. Spider Slayer. Okay, perform class action and then play the Spider Slayer class action. And then we can do what? Okay, cool. Anything else we needed to equip? I don't think so. Maze. Wasn't there like a. There we go. Uh, Shadow Hunt. Is that better? 3 to 10. And then this is 
Once per short rest, you can encase a target in fairy's fire for two. Nah, 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 nah. It's not really that good. Uh, it's in a camp. I can keep that one around. Um. Yeah, just give it to a star and he eats people anyway. <laughs> What is this game? I've heard about it and it being good, but I don't really know anything about it. Um, Mingo, so it is, or should I call you Jay? <laughs> I don't know. D tell me what you prefer. This is an amazing RPG. Um, and, well, it is a story that you play and you have your companions and everybody has their own story and your um, getting to know everybody and you're fighting, you know, it's a fantasy um, Fantasy role-playing game. So you play and you immerse yourself into the game and uh, It is playing in the D&D &D universe. So it is like playing D&D, &D, but uh, In a game with visuals and everything like that. It's really cool. Mingo. Okay. Welcome in Mingo. Um Okay. I really hope that the old bear couple show up after we killed all the people. I really hope so. I don't know if you have to kill uh all of them in in one day in one go, but I really hope the old bear cup shows up. We'll have to see. Okay, let's sleep. Still alive, so that's progress. True. Auto select. Full rest. Is there any co op or anything or a single player? There's also co op, yeah. Oh, do we have another dream? We have another dream. I want to save. Hi. I promised I'd be back. Yep. Don't worry. I have things under control. For now. Is that my brain always I so gorgeous? I see you've been using the powers the tadpole gives you. Good. But things haven't gone as you expected. You hoped a druid as powerful as Halsin might be able to remove your tadpole. But he couldn't. You're desperate to be rid of it. Understandable. But you're looking for solutions in the wrong places. Saving also, ooh. Tav looks gorgeous. So what should I be doing? Tell me who you are. Halson mentioned that the tadpoles have been modified with magic. Yes. Halson is correct. Your parasite is unusual. It is wrapped in magic that prevents its removal. Until the source of the tadpole's magic is destroyed, any attempt to remove it will kill you. You were lucky that Halsin knew this. His instincts are right. The parasites are merely a symptom of a greater sickness in Faerun. True. How do I destroy the source of the tadpole's magic? I thought you'd said you could protect me. What is the sickness? How do you know so much about these tadpoles? Tell me more about this magic. How do I destroy the source of the tadpoles magic? I am not sure yet. To find the answers, we must first find the source. These parasites are more than a lithid spawn. They are vessels for control. The infected hear the voice of the absolute and believe it to be a god. That is how the cult of the Absolute is spreading. The highest of their rank, the True Souls, carry a tadpole just like yours. It is how they receive their orders. It is what makes them obey. When the order to transform is given, it will not be a matter of days. They will be Mind Flayers in an instant. Were it not for my protection, so would you. <laughs> nice. Why are you protecting me? How is it that you protect me? Why should I believe you? I don't trust you. Why are you protecting me? Because I am just like you. And I need an ally. 
Just like you. I was infected with a mind flayer parasite. Hmm. Just like you. I seek to be free of it. I've been trying to escape from this evil for a long time. Once, I almost succeeded. Now, through you, I've been given a new chance. You can go where I cannot, and I can protect you from that evil. If we work together, Interesting. we may turn this around. Health. They need me. I have to go. Sorry, just getting water. Ooh, ah. Um, ooh, her outfit of ride, it's a beautiful. Um, what is going on over there? Is there anything I can do to help you? No. I can handle this. For now. The power I use to protect you, I stole it from someone. They want it back. I will hold them off for as long as I can, but sooner or later I will be worn down. You must discover the source of the magic that controls the parasites before that happens. The cultists are gathering at Moonrise Towers. Use the powers your parasite gives you to convince them you are one of them. Okay. And when you find the source of their magic, destroy it. Go. Our freedom depends on it. That makes sense. I think that makes a lot of sense. Do you like the Guardian or the lover from the Beta Beta? The <sighs> lover was very creepy and I didn't know really if I wanted to, you know, uh, believe it or not or, you know. It was very much, ooh, weird, but... The the guardian I can easily trust, and I think that's why they changed it no because you couldn't easily trust the dream lover, and maybe people wouldn't give into the dream lover because then they felt like they would like you know deceive their partner. First in my heart. Excuse me. So, oh, she said first I in my heart. I had another visit from that dream figure. I take it you did too. It claims that if we infiltrate the heart of the cult that's giving out these parasites will find the answers we're looking for. It gave me another gift, too. Just like it did the first time it appeared. Rather generous, if you ask me. Whatever at the heart of this cult, we have to find it by any means possible. I don't like it. This whole thing feels like a trap. I don't think it feels like a trap, honestly, personally. Whatever the, um, whatever's at the heart of this cult, we have to find it by any means possible. And while we're at it, we can see how many more of these little worms we can harvest. Now, was there anything else? I don't want to give you too many worms, Starian. Uh, let's talk to Shadow Art. I had another dream. Which, I suppose, means you did as well. Whoever's reaching out to us truly does seem opposed to the Absolute, but wants us to embrace the Tadpole. Venture right into the heart of the cult. Perhaps we truly have a secret protector. Or we're walking into a trap. We might. But I don't think so. I think because it seems everything that seems so much like it's something bad, I am like, okay, I won't risk it because then I feel like it's not a trap. I want to talk about, okay, yeah, leave. Will, want to talk? I had another dream last night. The visitor came to me and ordered me to penetrate the heart of the very cult that's spreading the infection. It gave me a tadpole gift too. Just like it did the first time it appeared. I suppose it hoped this would help. At first, I thought we should avoid these gifts no matter what advantage we gain. And yet, I can't help recall the words of my father. The best plan is the one that works. True. These powers could be enough to edge us towards victory. I agree. We need these powers to infiltrate the cult. This is the plan that works. Let's soon avoid these powers. Let's talk about something else. No, we need these powers. Very well. 
If it's mind games these parasites wish to play, we'll play. And we'll win. Exactly. Uh, what is it like being the son of a dra of a Grand Duke? Not so enchanting as you'd think. The poor tears, the Caldwells, they were the blue bloods hosting the fancy balls and drinking from gold goblets. Father's the son of a blacksmith, born with barely a coin in the coffers. He made a name for himself among the Flaming Fist. Brave as Balderan, stubborn as a deep rofe. Daring, outspoken, but hardly posh. <laughs> I spent more time dueling with father than I did rubbing elbows with lords. Not to say I didn't develop a taste for good wine and a talent for courtly dance. Courtly dance? I'd love to see a demonstration. <clears throat> It's been a badger's age since I've twinkled my toes. A drunk ogre could put on a better show. Come on, for me? You dance like a drunk ogre? That sounds hilarious. Count me in. <laughs> <laughs> well, give it some time. Develop a bond and maybe I'll show you a move or two. I promise, Clumsy Oaf is well within my repertoire. I don't want to... <laughs> I don't want to accidentally romance everybody. Mm, what do you think of the illicit potential the dream visitor speaker spoke of? I think that unknowable powers come with unknowable consequences. I can't say I'm not curious. But once you take an illicit by the talon, there's no telling how deep into the abyss it might drag you. True. Um, why does Will have horns in this new design? So, what happened was because he didn't kill Kalach while we were uh, recruiting her, um, Mazora showed up and turned him in because, you know, she was like, oh my god, Will, you have been so naughty. And then she had to punish him and turned him into a devil. So, Will is a devil now. <laughs> he is a devil. Um, okay, you've seen how dangerous these absolute cultists are. We need the extra help. We face untold dangers, Will. Shouldn't we seize every possible advantage? Just look at me, how potent I'm becoming. Think of what we could accomplish together. Oh, God. We face untold dangers, Will. Shouldn't we seize every possible possible advantage yeah exactly 18 Ooh, shadow heart oh nice did it yes i suppose we should though i'm more than a bit wary still i am the frontiers avowed protector New dangers require new skills to vanquish them. If the tadpole must be my curse, then let the powers it grants me be the Sword Coast's blessing. Exactly. I will consume what I must to make it so. Oh god, we have so many people to talk to. Let's talk to Gail. I've been dreaming of our enigmatic visitor again. She told me our purpose was to take on this cult of the absolute, oh. not to not infiltrate not its not ranks and no. bring it down from the inside. She even offered me greater powers, the result of some manipulation of the tadpole's psionic abilities. Given the magnitude of what we're up against, I see no harm in considering the benefit this offer might afford us. Could be the only way to reach this source in one piece. Okay, just a second. I need to go to my door. Just give me uh, a minute or something like that. We will see. Okay, let's continue. Um, given our magnitude of whatever we are up against, I see no harm in considering the benefit this offer might afford us. It could be the only way to reach the source in one piece. I don't like that Gay likes it, because when Gay likes it, I don't trust it. <laughs> Our tadpoles are part of the problem, not a solution. You're right, we must use every means at our disposal, even unsavory ones. That remains to be seen, I still don't trust it. No, yeah, you're right. 
As existential evils go, the Absolute certainly seems an adversary worth okay. holding in its tracks. Any opportunities for us to indulge our tadpole's capabilities are hardly on the same scale. Trifles, when one considers the bigger picture. I've gotten some sweet tea as well. Um, I think I have a magi magical artifact you'll be interested in. Your enterprising approach to my problem is most encouraging. Okay, it doesn't need anything. But it is a delicate process to keep my condition stable. I do not yet need to consume an item, but okay. keep it close by. It will not be too much longer. Sure. Mm. Okay. Okay, I was wondering, the condition of yours, why does it require magic? Think of it as... tribute. The kind a king might pay to a more powerful neighbor to avoid invasion. As long as I pay, there will be peace. But should I ever stop, along comes a war. I can assure you, the battlefield would extend well beyond the borders of my body alone. Okay. Let's talk to... I think only Lazelle and Kalach are left to talk to about this manner. Another visit from the Golden Paladin. Ooh, she had it a said, paladin we'll as well. get the answers we need about the tadpole if we infiltrate the cult. Then let's do just that. Indeed. I want to talk about your infernal engine. What's it been like? Not to touch anyone for such a long time. Hmm. Sad. Oh. I couldn't let myself feel sad in the hells. Oh. Letting my guard down would have been a death sentence. And letting, say, a cambion near me would have been disastrous. I thought it best to just to keep my distance. But loneliness that deep gets into the marrow. Now that I'm here, among friends, I can feel it burning out of me, little by little, step by step. Oh, I love that for you. I love you. I'm sorry I can't love you like that. I will one day love you like that. Another dream. Another order from that dubious visitor. It announced that we will find the answers we seek in the absolute cultist's lair. And offered another generous gift. A persuasive creature. It tempts us with power, expresses its admiration, its adoration. Avert your eyes whenever it appears. And do not avail yourself of this new power, no matter how alluring. You've no idea what damage it could do to us. How far into illithid madness it could drag us. I'm sorry, but we need to... Uh, we can use this skill to manipulate these cultists. We'd be fools to refuse it. I think the dream figure was right. Follow these, uh, follow these cultists and we find the source of our tadpoles. Yeah. I distrust the visitor. No, I think the dream figure was right. Yes. I know. The one truth that fell out of its cankered lips. There will come a battle. But it will be one with swords, not mind games born of brain worms. Uh, these dreams linger in my memory. Do you think that strange figure will come back? It is a certainty. I had assumed our parasites served a Geich elder, but I believe they serve a greater master still. The greater master? Who or what could that be? A question that burns in my belly day and night. Elders and collectives abide by their own tenets. It would require a powerful creed to unite them. And now this voice, this creed, finds our own ears. If it reaches this plane, it may reach others. Have you thought about making use of the tadpole's powers? Mark my words. This power would be no blessing, but a curse. You might as well ask me to gouge out my eyes for the promise of sight, or slice off my tongue for the promise of taste. Consume all the gate tadpoles you wish. I'm not so craven. Persuasion. If we must bear the tadpoles' burdens, we should also avail ourselves in their power. Mm -hmm. Or oh, 20. Mm, 
Yes! Oh, that feels so good every time. Oh, it feels so damn good. Perhaps you... No. That's absurd. When the tadpole has stretched to every pore and slithered through every vein, what am I to do then? It won't hear my screams. It won't care if I beg. I will be remade in its image. My faith in Vlakith will guide me, and my own might will sustain me. I have no need of this depraved power. Oh god. Uh, persuasion? This cult of the absolute is dangerous. We should take all the help we can get. I am living as a depraved or not. You are no good to your queen dead. You need these talents. True. Twelve! Oh, oh, okay. That's not that bad. Not that bad. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Do it. Fuck. Okay, there we go. We didn't see that. We didn't see that. We did not. Okay, continue. You... You might be right. I am right. I'm always right. The Githyanki right. have long studied Geik and used what we've learned. The Zaithisk itself was devised from such knowledge. The Tadpole is perhaps not just a curse, but a weapon I can twist and mold to my advantage. Very well. I will swallow my disgust and avail myself of the Parasite's powers. I think... Now... I think we have now pursued everybody to dive into the powers, which is great. So everybody is okay to dive into the powers. We have one more Lithid tadpole. I don't want to do too much, though. I don't want to do too much. Stage fright. Oh. Your target have disadvantage on attack rolls and take 2 to 12 psych kick damage each time they miss. Ooh. Ability drain. Once per turn when you make an attack roll, the attack reduces the target's... Oh, I don't wanna... I don't wanna do too much. I don't wanna do too much here. Ooh, and there's like... Oh, I don't wanna do too much. I wonder what the next move is. Psychonic Backlash. When an enemy within 9 meters casts a spell, you can use your reaction to inflict 1d4 psychic damage to the caster per level spell. Call the weak. When you bring a creature down to fewer hit points than your number of evolved illithid powers, it dies and all nearby creatures take 1 for... Oh, I don't like that. Hello? Can I be tough? No, I'm stuck in shadow hard. <laughs> um. Wait, I actually am stuck with shadow hard. Uh. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Let's save real quick. Maybe we need to restart. And leave camp. Let's see. Maybe we'll fix itself, right? Will it fix itself? I've it fixed itself. Road ahead. Uh... Oh god. Are we taking Helson with us? Talk to Raxlin though. Well, let's just dashing. take him. Let's just kill them. Let's be quick with it. The ringleaders have to die. The very natural order of things is in danger. Thanks to them. Come with me. I could use some help. Very well. My claws are yours. Okay, let's go. Need to find a way forward. Okay, save again. Maybe we should even do a full save now. New save. Full. Save. Okay, come on. 
Uh, that was too far. Wait. We need to go here. Wait. Rexlin is still there, right? Yeah. Can we all sneak? Okay, let's sneak. Time to press ahead. Let's sneak. Ooh. Hiding failed, but you're still hidden. Oh! The letter is gone. We can't go up here anymore. Sad. Uh. That's gonna be hard to sneak through there. into the turn-based mode. Astarian. <sighs> Cunning action dash. And action dash. And cunning action dash. <laughs> but why are they moving still? Don't we have... We have turn-based moat now. What do you mean? Why are you still moving? Stepping softly. Oh, we can get up here now. Great. Should be fine up there. I'm ready. Uh, then she can dash maybe once and get over there. Oh my god, good. Can climb? Why not? Starin is not in the way. Cloak and dagger. My favorite. Oh my god. Oh. What comes now? Mm. <clears throat> oh. Oh. Starian is barely. <laughs> Barely hidden there, okay. Okay. Hmm. Love that for us. <laughs> hmm? Uh, maybe if he could go there, that would be great. Um... You can do it. Oh. <laughs> okay. He still has good view. Okay. I could go for a good meal. I feel that, Kalach. I feel that. Um. I want her to go to a point where she could maybe jump close to whisper mode. I know you're 
easily seen there, but I think we we can do it. We should be able to do it. What to do? What to do? What to do? Well, you can sneak here, maybe. Best be on my way. So I guess Kalaf and I are going to attack fa first. Then Halson. Can you just go wherever and they don't care because he's a bear or what? Maybe I should stay crouched forever. Okay. Okay. Okay, but I can hit three at the same time here. Let's go. We're gonna save. I really love suing, but cutting out patterns, not my favorite. Oh yeah, I can I can feel that. Okay, let's try. Let's get in and out. Am I I guess we should leave turn base mode? There we go. Who is Okay, Kalach, Kalach, Kalach. Uh Long and low. Isn't there a person up here? Oh damn. Don't think she's so good at stealthing. Um, do we have like a piercing shot? Oh. I had hoped there would be like a different person there, but eight. Okay, that's twelve. Just going for that one. Oh, is Starion is actually in battle. They've seen him. Concentrate. Shit! Wow. Okay, go. Go here. Go here. Ninety-one. Love that. On draw, Rexlin. Let's go. Time to feel some grace. Ooh, just twelve. Well, anyhow. Let's turn someone inside out. Okay. Oh shit, nice one. Um Elixir of fire resistance. I guess the Sarin can really do much Nothing more will here. Stand in my way. Exactly. Tell them Tav. Oh, this one's dead. Can I maybe No. Dissonant whispers. Only seven? Low. Okay, end turn. End turn. Nice one. for Kala. Oh, good one, Kala. Leadership aura. Okay. Uh. Dash. I guess go for that one. What? Ow, I didn't even see that one. Excuse you. What? Okay. Yeah, yeah, there's another one. Concentrate. Then concentrate. Shadow Heart. Got to press on. Can you oh what? Can't do anything anymore. Come on, Helton. Good one. Good one. Um, high back, push mood, took a shower, push mouth, took a shower, and helped getting stuffed for dinner. Nice hacks. 
And hi, Hex. And hi, Ida. <laughs> okay. Oh wow, okay. I can probably do it with a offhand attack and then use the actual attack to Yeah, this one. And she's dead. <laughs> I won't give in. Okay, I have a goblin right in front of me. So let's hit them. Let's see. Oh wow. And turn and turn. Which one is that to you? Good one, Tav. Okay, Kalach. Can do anything right now, but yeah, can't use reactions. And I can't hit him right now. Because I'm dazed. Uh, so, and turn. Don't kill. Oh my god. Two barbarians, man. Oh no. No, 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 no. Don't push a Saryan off. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? Stop. Stop. Oh, good one, a Saryan. Ooh, a Saryan. Be careful. Damn. <laughs> uh, Multi attack on that one. And he's dead. Love that for us. Give up. Come on. Ooh, nice one. Come on, two. Uh, heal the He needs it. Take two. Nice one. And turn and turn. Switch mode with being a bitch right now. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, Hex. Come on, Asarian. You can easily kill him now. Oh, there we go. Save the refugees. We did it. Done it. Hell yeah. Okay. Um. And spill kill that blood. one too. <laughs> yeah, spill some blood, Asarian. Do it. Nice. And another one. Nice. And still breathing, despite everything. Where's that goblin up there? Can I just do dissonant whispers? Try. Frightened. Nice. And turn. Cut and run. And turn. Critical miss. Love that. Ow. Okay, frenzied strike. Open up. Reckless attack. <laughs> Open up. There we go. FBI. We did it. Let me. Okay. Did it. You actually did it. Yes. The leader's dead. <laughs> praise Sylvanus. No, that's not right. Yeah, praise me. Praise you, my yes, friend. Praise me. The Grove owes you a debt beyond measure. Okay, okay. Hex. Killing's never my we, first okay. choice. But those three were too dangerous to leave alive. I've done my part, now tell me about Moonrise. I need your help. Yeah, um, I've done my part, now tell me about Moonrise. Let's get out of this pit, firstly. Return to the Grove. I'll make my own way there. I can see to some matters there, and we can discuss what comes next amidst more bucolic surroundings than here. Okay, great. Nice, we did it. Uh, and he's gone. He's gone. Okay. Can't afford to stay idle. Let's talk. Come here, everybody. Everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk. Hello, my sweet. Oh, so sweet. Oh my god. I love it. 
soldier. Leave. Okay. So, I might take my 15 uh, minute break here and then we're gonna be back. Um, and then we're gonna go to the grove. And we just have a little bit more to do on the overworld and then we can finally go into the underdark. Oh my god, we have so much to do. Might do a longer stream today because I, I have to. I want to finish act one today and we, ugh, I don't know if we can. <laughs> Honestly, we have so many fights still. And we have the whole boss fight. We will see. We will see. But we are properly playing the game. I need to remind myself of that. Go piss, girl. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> I'm gonna dehydrate. And I'm gonna kiss my son goodnight. And, you know, might have a little bit of my food. Because, uh, you know, we don't want to eat on stream. So I'm gonna try and eat a little bit. But, yeah. I will be back. I will be back. Let's have a proper save. Um, full save. Okay. And oh my god. Honestly, like, drinking caffeine is awful. I feel like I'm pregnant again. <laughs> With all the amounts of times I have to go and pee. What the hell? Okay. Um, but I'm, I feel awake, so that's great. But yeah, uh, I will be back in like 50 minutes. Let me get the timer ready again. <laughs> 